Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you my friendship gift box. Now, as you know, I previously made a project for three of my wonderful bestest friends um, that included a little miniature of gin and the bracelet that I generally wear all the time now. Um, so I'm meeting up with them again and so I've bought them a little gift this time. Um, we all do it, so it's not just me, I'm not just a little crazy. Um, but these little boxes, as you can see, I've used the Feels Like Frost but I've actually used the alternate DSP and I just think that looks so fab. Um, you've got the uh, white on silver and then the silver on white and I just think they look fabulous. Um, I've used the beautiful grey granite... Um, textured weave ribbon um, and then just for this little tag I've just used the um, Tiny Keepsake dies and the, I forget the name of it, Tiny Keepsake stamp set. Um, so you know it doesn't really have to be Christmas or Christmassy, it, it's I suppose festive but yeah I, I love them and I'm going to show you what's inside when I can find somewhere to put these out of the way. Um, they are little tea light holders so as you can see the little tea light sits in the top there standard size um and then it's just got this lovely sentiment on the front of all the gifts big and small to me your friendship is the greatest gift of all um i think it's gorgeous um i'm hoping my friends do as well i know that one of my friends in particular loves tea light so but you know even to just sit on a shelf or wherever it's just nice because it's just a nice little reminder you know that I'm here and they're there for me as well so yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with it and I hope they like it so I'm going to show you how to make it and it's really simple it's a really simple box as always so whisper white you do need 12 by 12 for the base just because it's that little bit bigger um, but this piece of cardstock is eight and three quarters by eight and three quarters of an inch which is 22.5 centimeters by 22.5 and then we're simply going to score two and a half inches on all four sides, which is six and a half centimetres. So as I say, two and a half, all four sides. Okay, and while I've got my scoreboard out, I may as well do my lid while I'm here, and then I won't have to mess about with it again. So for your lid, you can use A4. Um, still whisper white as you saw um, and the lid is six and three quarters by six and three quarters I have my shim um, uh, which is 17 by 17 centimeters and this one is being scored at one and a half inches which is four centimeters again all four sides just don't forget that shim because it will make all the difference when you come to put your lid on Okay, so I can get this out of the way now and then I'm going to go back to my base first. So as you know we're just going to fold and burnish all of these score lines. It's quite nice working with Whisper White actually just for a change. Um, you know obviously if you wanted to you could use the coloured side of the feels like frost or if not you know you, whatever really um i just wanted to use something a bit different so um the four squares as you know we cut um into tabs and cut those wedges so the first corner i'm just going to cut my wedges but what i'm going to do is i'm going to rotate it and i'm going to do this corner this way and then the same again rotate and you can see my sort of direction if you like of my tabs so again just cutting down the sides here turn again the reason I'm doing this is because the gift to go inside this box is it's not heavy but it's heavier than most sort of things that you would put in a box and we don't have 12 by 12 thick whisper white so it is just the normal and so it's quite thin to for a box anyway so with your tabs each going in a different direction it means that each one goes against a side okay so 
in theory, it almost reinforces it. Can you see with double? And that's the reason I do it. It's just really for reinforcement to thick, thicken the sides. So, uh, tear and tape then on your tabs. And as I've mentioned previously, I do one piece along the join and then one as a anchor, if you like. So one piece along the seam, one piece as an anchor. And we're just going to work our way round doing all of those. Um, I'm hoping that it actually seems quite bright for you guys via my um, view on my camera. I feel like it's really dark in here today, really dark and dusky. It is, um, it is sort of mid-afternoon here when I'm filming, so um, obviously it is a little bit darker than normal, but yeah, it's, and it's really grey and miserable today as well, which doesn't help, but it looks okay for you guys, so I'm quite happy. So um, I've put my tear and tape on all of my tabs, so I now need to stick my DSP on. So you need four pieces um, that measure three and a half by two and a quarter inches. That is nine by six centimetres. And then I'm just going to pop snail on. Whoops. Snail on and then stick them on all of the sides. I'm so excited to meet up with my friends. I truly can't wait. I absolutely love spending time with them. And, it, you know, being a, like most people, or like a lot of people, I'm a working mum, wife, I have two dogs. You know, I, I don't get a lot of downtime. And although I do a lot of crafting, which is my downtime, um, you know, I don't generally get me time, if that makes sense, because... Um, Obviously, even doing my crafting, it's still part of a business, so technically it's still a job, even though I love it, don't get me wrong. Um, but, you know, just to go away with the girls, have some fun, not worry about the washing or the shopping or, you know, just to have some fun. It's going to be amazing, so I can't wait. So, uh, DSP on all four sides, and then now we're just going to take the backing off here. And we're going to make the base of our box up. Oops, stuck to that bit then. Come on, off you come. So yeah, so I'm 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 busy, busy trying to get organised, but so so excited. Can't wait. Like a kid at Christmas every time. So yes, very excited. Okay, so backing taken off all four sides. And so, as I said, we're literally just going to work our way round, just making that box up as we go. Oh, and now my dog's dreaming as well. <laughs> so, if you want to, just get that bone folder in there and just give all those bits of adhesive a little stick. Okay, and then I've got some, I, I did find that if I put this in as it was, there was a little bit of room, a little bit of play room. So I just got some tissue paper and simply wrapped it up. Oops. And I just wrapped it up. And then I'm just going to tuck that piece under, that piece under and then pop it in. Now, you're thinking, oh my goodness, that box is bowing, it's too big. It's not. It's just that I needed to sort of reconfigure to get it in. There we go. So it is now sitting nicely. It's just that that tissue, but now doesn't move as much. And certainly with these ones, it feels a lot sturdier, which I'm happy with. And I'm sure once the lid's on, that will be fine. Okay, so pop that to one side. Let's do the lid. Just trying to see what was stuck to my snail then. So the lid, obviously we scored. So we do exactly the same now. We're just going to fold, burnish, cut. Now the corners I didn't cut the same as the base. They're just literally the same 
I just cut them on the same side rather. And the last one. Not that done. Okay. And then my DSP. So I have one to go on the centre at the top. This measures three and a half inches by three and a half inches, which is nine by nine centimetres. And that's just going to sit on the top of the lid. And then the sides are three and a half by one and a quarter, which is nine by 3.5 centimetres. And as I say, these just sit on the sides. And you may also have noticed that the DSP that I've chosen is also the uh, opposite in terms of the pattern as well. So I didn't just randomly pick a white on silver and a silver on white. I did make sure that they um, matched. So as you can see, I've got the... Um, I, so I almost want to call them dandelion heads and I know they're not, but that's for that one and then obviously with this one I picked the same pattern so yeah they they were done specifically for that reason so same again then we're going to put some tear and tape on the score line there and again across the tab itself so this doesn't take too long. I did clean my scissors the other day. I was good because I'm always complaining about them sticking. I did clean them. The trouble is I use them so I use tear and tape so much. Oh crumbs that um they soon get gunked up, especially when I make mistakes like that. Oh crumbs. Get it everywhere now. Okay, so last one. Isn't that one? Oops, goes on the join. There's a lot of banging outside today as well. Always the same, isn't it? Right. And then, as I said, exact no. One and a half inch circle punch. We need to be punching a tiny, tiny little notch out of one of the sides. Doesn't really matter which side you choose. They're both the same. Just obviously opposite sides not like those two sides because that would be foolish and then just take the backing off again off all four of the tabs I'm going to be sad when this paper retires because I really like it really really do like it which is strange because I generally prefer 12 by 12 6 by 6 is okay but I prefer 12 by 12 but I do love this paper and again as you know quite often I will make my lid and then put it on my box and put the other bits in but actually I don't need to for this one and I'll tell you why in a moment um, on one of my previous videos a lovely lady commented and said um, that Connie Stewart had made a fabulous shim for when she's um, making... I'm being careful because I don't want to damage the DSP, that's all. Um, she'd made a fabulous shim for making boxes, making lids. Um, and I had a look at it and it is truly fabulous and I will be recreating that um, in a couple of weeks. Um, but basically she used some window sheet. Um, this is whisper white but I've actually stuck can you see get it to focus I've actually stuck two pieces together so it's a double thickness um, so I know now that that will fit absolutely fine so grey granite uh, textured weave and then I'm just whoops cutting a generous length to tie around my box so as you know I'm a back to front girl just make sure that those finger notches are front and back and you're tying side by side okay that, that makes any kind of sense um, 
and then I'm literally I don't have a front or a back to these boxes which is fabulous so I just tie my bow and I want to hold that quite tight because I really want this lid to stay on and not move too much so I'm just gonna make my little bows and then tuck that under and then there we go pretty oops pretty bow so I'm just going to trim these tail ends here and then for my little sentiment as I said I have some grey granite stamp I have my little label that I cut from the mini curvy keepsake box dies and I have my oh uh, where's that gone I have my For You sentiment just here. I'm just going to turn it round so that my hole's to the side and then just stamp my For You across there. And then I actually used some metallic thread, silver metallic thread and this is where it gets fiddly because you can't see anything, just me moving my hands. Shush girls, it's okay. Um, so I just find the ends, there we go. So I've doubled it up and I'm then going to thread it through the sentiment and then I'm going to just feed it the two ends through as you would a normal sort of gift tag. So you can actually see that now. So I've tied that on and then nearly forgot, nearly forgot a couple of basic rhinestones. I've not, I've used these a bit more recently, but I haven't used these nearly enough as I should recently. And I think they're lovely, especially with this, they just stand out so well. And then I'm just going to separate those two pieces again, because I want to thread one underneath the ribbon there and grab the other end there and then I want it around there so I'm just going to tie it in a knot onto the ribbon. Don't pull it too tight or it will pull it all the way, oops, <laughs> it will pull it all the way um, to the to the uh, ribbon which I don't want, I want just a little bit of play on it so and I'm just going to tie that into a knot, grab the two ends, this is always so difficult with certainly with silver because you can't really see it very well. Right, find those ends, trim it really close to the and there we go and that will just sit nicely on there and there are my three friendship boxes aren't they just stunning oh i love them and i hope my friends do too i'm really really pleased with how they've looked thanks for joining me see you all again soon